Hello everyone, C from Gaming back in my old room again, and I'm here to do an unboxing I really should have done a month ago. It's of a fragile Play Asia package. I can't show address, but it is from Play Asia because it's one of their exclusive games. Well, the retail edition. Now I'm gonna start this off by saying I'm kinda disappointed with Play Asia because even though I ordered this in April, it said it would come in the middle of May, shipped in the middle of May, but there was never any tracking information. It was like in Singapore for a bit, and it went to the US like in the middle of May, and for like two to three weeks I was waiting for this game to come or at least get some sort of email update, and I never did. So I went on vacation to Ohana Khan and other places and whatnot, and now that I'm back it finally came. It came like, I don't know, two weeks ago. So this belated package, barely worth the wait, I think it will be. But I don't think I'm going to order from PlayAsia again, because compared to Amazon Japan, they are not as fast, they are not really as, well, good, in my opinion. And unless you get, like, eShop e cards from them, I don't... And even then, you can get them for cheap on Amazon, but not PlayStation cards. But, I don't know, I just don't like PlayAsia. I mean, to be honest, I didn't really care for them much, like, a f two years ago, when they kind of went after and joined partners with people who were supporting this hate group online. This, like, censorship hate group, because the whole, like, e every single edit in a video game censorship BS, they kind of support that. And instead of going, I don't know, it's a long story, long controversy, but basically, they made some sort of stupid snarky remark and like one and a half years ago and pretty much after that I was like oh hey these guys seem like dumb jerks I don't care for them but then I noticed they didn't really really do that do much on that site like they didn't talk about that crap on their site or Twitter much and uh, I think the only thing remaining is that part is a partnership with a certain YouTube channel who flips his crud over every little minor change in the game ever so yeah, I decided to buy this because I want to support the developer behind the game and give the limited one game-esque thing a shot because it has CDs and whatnot. But because of the way they handled this, I died wouldn't actually get this game and I got scared. So yeah, enough talking, let's open this up. There's a lot of tape on it, it says fragile, I don't know how it can be because it's just a game, but a CD might be fragile. It comes with CDs, some art piece, and I need a certificate. Oh, in the game, of course. So let's just open this up. You gotta make sure that this side is open, which it is. I guess so I won't go on and on and incite a stupid flame war from dumb people in the comments. I'll just mention that if you are still confused on what I meant by the hate group and whatnot, go watch my NX parody video I made like in July of last year where I was Cool Dude Productions and I made a hate group called Bunny Drought. Well, fictional hate group, but it's, it's a parody of a real one. Similar name and all that. Oh, I kind of have to destroy the box a bit, and I think I should be able to break the seal. Ta-da! We broke the seal. It's a nice bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. Oh, there's this business card in here. PA free. I I have no idea what this means. Listen, oh, I know it's Play Asia's third limited edition release. I think they're on their sixth or seventh now. It's Ghost Play that's up next. I'm getting a limited one version because I like that company better. But Play Asia does have a soundtrack, so if you don't mind waiting a ridiculously long time for this. And no, I don't think there was any expedited shipping options in it. There was. I guess I didn't pick them because I don't know. Can't really help, I know they can't help it much because they are like in Asia, but Amazon Japan like only gives me $7 shipping for an item that comes from Japan like 3 days, so not really much of an excuse. Translate Japanese games from Play Asia, it says, like some beach game, some blue reflection action game. I think that's a Musou game. This is a Musou game, maybe. Warriors. It looks like it. I see some girl from Dead or Alive here, and some samurai dudes, and some girls. And this looks like some sort of mech game. I'm trying to read it. 
I can't read it. It's in katakana. I cannot read that. I only can read some hiragana. I need an only limited amount. But out of those little things, let's get the main cool stuff out of the way. Ah, this looks glorious. For the glory of the arcade times, because arcade games are great. Chris Castilla EX, a Ghosts and Goblins clone that he was built in the original game, which is barely because I actually hate Ghosts and Goblins, but I love arcade throwbacks. I think this developer seems like a good guy, and I'm gonna probably buy his Super Hydroa game when it comes out later this year. Hopefully, it comes out on the PS4 so I can get achievements. But if it's just a Switch or PC game, I can get it on those too. Unless it's not on Mac. Whatever. But yeah, Locomozo, Adlight Studios. I don't know what a certificate sign certificate. Oh, here's a. Oh, there's a coupon, but I can't show you because it has a code on it. I'll just crop pretty much all of it and show you that they advertise Dead or Alive Extreme 3 again. Fortune, it seems like they made another version of that. At first, when I, I heard that game wasn't coming out, I was actually kind of upset because I like volleyball games like that. Super Spike V-Ball on NES, I love that game. But, I don't know, the whole... It's not really a bad subject now, to be honest. It's probably tame compared to most stuff I was exposed to, like, at 6, but... It's not my cup of tea. I prefer the fighting series. And the main attraction, Chris Castilla Limited Edition. Nice box for the glory of arcade times. I think this is region 3, like, region, the number 3, and it's region 3, like, no region lock. I think it's both. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I assume some people are. And so I'm gonna open this up. Feels really nice, this box is actually pretty... I like the way this box is made. It kind of reminds me a lot of some old. I'm trying to think. Something. Why? Well, kind of reminds me of a GameCube box, but a bit fatter. It's hard to explain, but some about this felt familiar, and I like it. Of course, it has to be bent when I lift this tab up. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? And now to see what number I am. 58 out of 3,000. That's actually not bad. I died get like some random high 100 numbers. But I got 58th, which I actually didn't think of. Thanks for the support on the back. Neat little, neat little message. The game itself, Chris Castilla EX, East Asia Soft, has this 12 plus rating that I don't recognize. From, I think it's from China. But, oh, it has PlayStation... Stickers on the bottom, PlayStation, Ablight Studios, same stuff on the back, except it has some, like, it has a guy on the back and some screenshots of the game. Neat. And the Chris Castilla EX soundtrack by Guizo87, so I assume that's the guy. Whoa, there's 56 songs in this, jeez. That's a lot of songs on the soundtrack. I guess it is a complete soundtrack. And nice for what I'm gonna play with for weeks to come. So now I'm gonna open this up and we'll see what's inside. Oh, this comes with a manual. It's a small manual, but it's actually a manual, not like the cage story part. Lots of old-fashioned artwork and stuff. Actually, I think the whole manual is old-fashioned artwork and nothing more. Yeah, no images from the game, just... Yeah, lots of old-fashioned artwork. It's still a manual, though, and there's, of course, the PS4 disc. Doesn't look much different from the other games I own, which is good outside the little cover on the, so the sticker on the front, but that is no big deal. The PS4 is region 3 for a reason. Anyways, that'll do it for this unboxing. I hope to see you next time. Probably not with another Play Asia thing, unless they ship faster or I find a way for them to. But I'll probably unbox something more in the future, at least a few things this summer. And I'll see you then. Bye!
Thank you.